blood, Major. Thank you. Have a good time. Thank you. I be. This is my second parade. I was here last year. Yeah. But now I'm deep ruler. I'm I'm more deeply involved in one section, and that is the canine uh, teams. Mm -hmm. And uh, my project now for Sweetheart, we're allied with other. Well, I don't see it much. I hear it's really good, but I haven't seen it in a while. But I'll tell you the thing that does strike me, uh, and, and it seems it's a great compliment. What are you doing? Amazon. Can't a guy have a washing set without somebody biting him on the neck? Biting who? I was biting you. No, you weren't. You were biting me. Klinger, what are you doing in here? Just bowing a little of your shampoo, Major. It's wartime. We all... soon. Go Mud Hens, go Toledo, go Ohio, go America. Stay safe. I try to stay out of the way because what you people do here is so important. But understand, at a time like this, what I have to do is just as important. And no one, not you, nor anyone else. Okay, his presence is a help. They know he's not a doctor, but they, they know he's an ear that they can uh, bend and that they can count on. Okay, he is there for that. And our Atheists in foxholes. I've heard that. I like to see a shine on that cross, Father. Well, I think Bill is Father Mulcahy. They, they couldn't have found anybody uh, uh, more appropriate for that part. He's a uh, wonderful person.
May I present Captain B.J. Honeycutt. What <laughs> say, you ferret face? Uh, we still have the still. Uh, shall we take a stroll by the light of the silvery moon? too bright a light. And I think Wayne began to feel that it wasn't the show that he wanted to be the second banana in, and he moved on. Opened the door for you, though, it didn't it? certainly did. And interesting that you talk about that dynamic. Uh oh cover your eyes. Her favorite pair of army boots. Gutter brain. <laughs> and they stand for standing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> grass, doctor. Let me see them. No, these are. Lie down! Lie down, John C! He's deaf. I'm not deaf. I just can't stand listening to her. You don't fix me. psychiatrist from headquarters to determine if Corporal Klinger can be discharged under Section 8. Hi, this is Gary Berghoff. The Berghoff, Boostrom, and Westfall families wanted to open a GoFundMe account to benefit those affected by the campfire that has devastated our beloved. If you say one more unkind word to Private Palmer, I will personally write a report detailing your inhumanity, and I will have it placed in your 201 file where it will follow you for the rest of your career. But, Major, that is that clear. I promised you a journey, so let's begin with music from a European composer who discovered America in the late 19th century. Early in his career, Czech-born composer Antonín Dvořák was known for I'm going to talk to Henry. I want that freak out of this outfit and out of the U.S. Army! Oh, Frank, you're so exciting when you get all riled up and decisive. I am? Frank, would you like to bite the real thing? <laughs> David Ogden Stires. Right. Yeah. Were you sorry you left MASH? No. 
Really? No, no, it was five years. It was like, you know, people don't understand that 125 episodes is like 27, 28 full-length motion pictures back to back. I got to say something. Long. I would never leave a hit. Get Klinger over here right away. Yes, sir. Colonel. Frank, please try to say something. Even a gurgling sound would help. Look, you keep this. Daddy, I need your help. I know Johnny didn't take Mo's wallet. I know. Oh, how do you know? I can't tell you. P just please trust me, Daddy. I'm sorry, baby. I can't. This Danish is pure protein. <laughs> 